I got a call from Christine, who is Benoit's, our carpenter's partner, and she told me that Benoit had an accident involving his table saw. And um, I asked how bad it is, and she said, it's very bad. He was at the hospital, and now he's back home. And I drive now to his place because I want to find out how bad it is, how he's doing. <sighs> we are working with Benoit for over three years now. He's not only our carpenter, but also became a very good friend. All those who are familiar with our vlogs know that he is an absolute master when it comes to woodworks. But he also uses very old machines. I'm not an expert, but those machines never looked safe to me. I asked him many times why he doesn't get something newer. But his company is small, he works on his own, and he says he can't afford them. He already lost a finger a couple of years ago. And even if machines are expensive, I'm sure he can't even less afford losing another limb. And thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Voilà. Comment tu vas Qu'est-ce que tu me fais euh, Qu'est-ce que je fais Bah pas grand chose en ce moment tu vois. <rire> ça va mon voilà. Yu Ça va bien. Ouais. Voilà la, la raison de mon absence ces derniers temps. Oui. Voilà. Donc un petit incident technique. Ok. Il y en a qui perdent les dents, moi je perds les doigts. <rire> Mais tu... Alors raconte, raconte. Bah, J'étais en train de travailler tout simplement en coupant du bois sur la machine que je vous dis de faire attention quand tu travailles avec Nathan. Oui. Et euh, si tu veux, en coupant le bois, j'ai coupé le bois, j'ai reculé euh, mon plateau et en ramenant le plateau avec la main droite et la main gauche qui passait par dessus, le bout de bois est revenu sur la lame et m'a couché les doigts sur la lame. Je me suis retrouvé avec euh, mes 50 points de suture. 50 points de suture Oui. oui. Et j'ai deux doigts qui sont cassés. En plus, voilà. en cadeau. En cadeau, en cadeau. ouais. C'est la lame qui les a cassés ou c'est... Tu sais oh, c'est la, pro la projection, je pense que c'est la projection. Ah, oui. euh, ça, malheureusement, je ne sais pas. Oh, putain. Ça, ça va tellement vite, c'est tellement rapide que je ne sais pas. Donc voilà mes derniers espoirs. Après la main droite, on attaque la main gauche. Oh, oh. Est-ce que tu as mal euh, Si je dis non, ce serait mentir. Ça, euh, faut être, euh, faut être, euh, faut être honnête. Oui. Mais, euh, mais bon, ça va, c'est supportable. Oui. C'est supportable par rapport au premier jour. Donc je te dis pas à quel point ça m'a fait juste, euh, euh, comment, une jouissance une... <rire> que, que je ne connaissais pas. <rire> mais c'est ta main gauche. Et c'est à main gauche. Donc tu as toujours une main droite. Ouais. Oui. Ouais. Ouais, complète. Complète. <rire> ah oui. Oups. <rire> Je t'ai porté à boire. Oh, il a rien mimi mon fils. Voilà, à boire et. Oh, alors, alors, une bougie. alors là. Euh, une des nouilles bougies. Et, euh, et, regarde ça. Oh, ah non, mais t'as pas le droit de porter ça. Là. <rire> Je le reprends. Oh, t'as un amour. Et vous êtes. Ouais. Vous... Non, parce que tu l'as pas eu à la bougie encore. Tu, tu n'as plus nous euh, pour l'instant, mais t'as as notre odeur. Donc ouais. voilà, c'était ouais. ça l'idée. Hello. How are you doing? Good to see you. It's been a, a few months since we saw you guys last. It has been. Yeah, and I heard you've been busy renovating. Yeah, actually. We've had a few little projects. Yeah, we're doing good. We're uh, running behind a little bit on our renovations, but... Uh, like always, no? It's always the same. And it doesn't help that Benoit decided to cut his fingers in half. <laughs> no, that didn't help. Not at all. Actually. <laughs> Uh, I didn't mention this before, but when you told me that, it was ironically April 1st. And I was like, is he messing with me right now? Yeah, I was like, this is just, like, I was really upset for a second. And I was like, oh, wait, this might be a joke. Yeah. So when I told Daphne, I was like, trying to pick up on how she. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, Does she think it's a joke too? I was like, I don't want to ask if it's a joke. <laughs> well, no. Unfortunately not. No. At the same time, it seems that all the fingers are, you can still move all the fingers and I mean, his, so his tools, they are not safe at all. And he mentioned that he would like to buy a new table saw and he showed me one and it's, and it's, I think it's about 10,000 euros and a second hand one would be about 6,000 euros, but he can't afford it. And what do you think if we, 
if we really set up um, something like a GoFundMe for him, using our both our channels, uh, because we know we have a lot of fans, yeah. Banwa fans, Benoit fans, <laughs> and you have a lot of Banwa fans, and strength in numbers, and I think if we that I could really help him, and yeah. I think a lot of people would be happy to to help out. Absolutely. I think that's a great idea. Would you be yeah. up for it? Should we do that? Absolutely. Any, anything we can do to help. Yeah, that's yeah. cool. Yeah, yeah. We want to make sure that he doesn't cut off any more fingers. Yeah. Yeah. This seems to be the way. If we set it all for a new machine, that's probably a lot, but maybe a second-hand machine, and he's totally fine with a second-hand machine. Six thousand. That's I think a goal that that we could maybe achieve. You can't really put a price on safety. Um, he's only got two hands left. <laughs> let's do it. Let's do it quickly. Let's 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 make it happen. Yeah. There's an important job going on in the second floor. We are starting renovating the two remaining guest rooms. But Benoit is not here. And for some technical reasons, we need to change the windows. There's two rotten windows as soon as possible. But normally we do it with Benoit and Benoit is not available. So unfortunately, because there's an urgency, I had to call somebody else to do this. And it feels a bit strange because we've changed, I don't know how many windows with Benoit. And that's the first one other people install, but they're really nice and they surely do a good job, but it's not the same thing. But we couldn't wait because then the builders outside take the scaffolding away and then we can't take advantage of them being here to fill out the gap in between the windows and the bricks. Okay, they've disappeared. And the noise you can hear, that's the masons outside. I can show you what they've done so far. They have taken out one of the old windows and now they're installing the, the new one, which is here just like in all the other rooms. These are double glazed windows. The old ones were single glazed windows. And we managed, you can see, we managed to take off the old window hardware here and put those on the new windows to keep it as original as possible. But as you can see, there's still quite a lot of mess that needs to be sorted before we can continue working. It's embarrassing how much things are lying around here. I need to do some carpentry today without Benoit, which is sad and difficult. Not because I wouldn't be capable technically, but I have nobody to make fun of. I, I will be bored. But at least I can show off how good I am without him. I'm going to use this tool. I bought it brand new, no advertising. Uh, last time I used this, I used Benoit's. It didn't end well because I cut my finger. This is a hobel in German. And if you use it on your hand, it actually hurts. It, it, it works on, on flesh as well as on wood. I did that. I don't want to do that again today. So what I need to do, can you see this? Can you see this? Oh no, I changed the camera angle. This door here, wooden door made by Benoit, has warped, has changed its shape, which is normal because it's wood and wood is alive. And you know, especially at the beginning, it changes its shape, but it's impossible to shut it. So I just need to, cut off a little bit down here. Uh, it should have been done a long time ago, but Benoit always told me, don't do it, don't do it, wait for me. But now we don't have a choice. It's gonna take too long for his hand to heal. So I'm gonna do it. And I know there is a minimum position, which I'm gonna star, but so. Maximum, so the opposite of maximum is minimum. So put it on a minimum. And then let's see how, if that works. There's a lot of securities to, to touch at the same time in order to operate the machine, which probably makes sense, but makes it a bit difficult when you're doing this from an angle. Good. That hasn't done anything. So there's also another job I need to do. And this is finishing off the corners of this garden house, which you know from a previous vlog that unfortunately not that many people watched and I don't know why. So if you haven't seen the vlog where me and Benoit created this house for the kids, I'm gonna put it up here somewhere. 
it's, it's a nice vlog, you should watch it. Anyways, so I need to put these corner pieces on and they need to be measured and cut. So nothing that I would need a carpenter for. Um, yeah, there is a, a little bit of cutting to do up here. Um, so how can I figure out? This, this is too long. You see this? And now look at this. Look at this. Oh. Can you still see me? Because I'm doing so well here. I want you to see this. All right, you can see me, I think. That's what Benoit does. He puts the nails in his mouth because it's practical and it looks cool. I mean, it looks really pro. So. Mm -hmm. Top. Up there, you can see this little gap, but that's what I call an expansion gap. It's for when in the summer, when it gets warmer, the wood expands and then you want to leave a gap, otherwise it breaks. Benoit cheekily didn't finish cutting this, the wood here. So I need to, I don't know, cut it by hand. It's annoying. Another perfect execution of a very difficult job. Well done, me. So let's try to make a smaller expansion gap than on the other one. this if that's not perfection I don't know what is I'm happy now the house is officially finished for the season when the kids are naughty we put them in there with a bit of food and some water and generally after three or four days they are allowed to come out and then they behave good investment good investment Today I have proven that even without Benoit's help, I can achieve perfect results in carpentry and theoretically I am ready to launch my own carpentry business. Now, in today's world, excellence is unfortunately not enough to have success. You also need an outstanding online presence. Now, some time ago this would have been a big undertaking and expensive. But luckily nowadays there is a solution called Squarespace, an all-in-one platform to build a professional online presence, which also happens to be this week's ad. When you sign up with Squarespace, you have access to a vast amount of templates, which you then can adapt to your needs and taste without any programming skills. You can easily set up a simple web presence or build a big web shop for your e-commerce business. It's also very well suited to create an online portfolio if, for example, you're a carpenter or a designer and you want to use galleries and even password-protected pages to share your work with your clients. And because a business without a logo is like an influencer without influence, a Squarespace has an easy-to-use, browser-based design tool to instantly create a basic logo for your business or project. So if you haven't done it yet, head to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash how to renovate a chateau to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. In the meantime, the masons have moved the scaffolding to the other side. Um, this facade is done and it looks Beautiful. And because they're using a more traditional technique, there's a little bit of grain and a little bit of texture on the wall. And I think it looks fantastic. It looks much better than the old version. Mm. 
Now the GoFundMe page is live. If you want to help Benoit getting a new saw and stop him from cutting his fingers off, please look at the link in the description of this video. And don't forget to subscribe to Daphne's and Ian's channel Beau Chateau as you can now double your dose of Benoit's carpentry fun.